Hey guys, Mod Bros here. I'm Tucker. This is Jacob. And we're going to talk about blowguns. Uh, this is my blowgun right here. It I've had it for about maybe two years. Um, I just gave it my classic uh, blood splatter paint job, and it, I've done some upgrades to it since I first made it. it it's brass lined with three feet of nine sixteenths. And it, I used to have a small copper uh, scar at the end with a uh, four string quarter turn, but uh, it just killed itself after a few too many darts went through it. And I've since um, upgraded the scar by just integrating it directly into the blowgun itself. Um, so four string. It's still a four string, but I have eight notches cut mm -hmm. in it in case I want to go that extra step. Um, I uh, just. Give it a little paracord wrap on the end for a handle and a mouthpiece, and that's about it. But Jacob's, on the other hand, as you can see, it's a little more special. So, Blogans for me, I've had this Blogan for about four years now because I, I started nerfing back when I was a freshman in high school. And when I was nerfing at Extreme Night, basically it was people who had played before who were using Blogan and newbies who were just walking in with stock blasters. Because this was still a time where nerf mods weren't really a big thing. This was way before I started making Brass Breach or RCB Blasters or anything. I made a blowgun. It originally started off as just three and a half feet of just basic PVC half inch. And I got made fun of because I just had a white piece of PVC. And that was back when we were still using sticky darts, the Buzzy stickies to be precise. And they were really good. So obviously it was something that people wanted to use because you could snipe from anywhere on the field. And they were super precise, really accurate, really powerful compared to the stock glasses at the time. About the same length as when I first started using it, but now instead, since we've moved on from Busby stickies to just regular standard elite sized darts, I too have brass mod in mind with 9 sixteenths and then a little bit of 19 30 seconds to cover up the little gaps. And then I have an eight string quarter turn scar at the end of mine. Integrated for straight in the PVC, just like him, because I too had issues where my scar on a copper barrel kept Ripping. But as you can see with mine, once I painted it, I want to take a little extra step, and make it a little, just a little bit cooler. And so I added not only a nerf tactical rail, so I could put all kinds of nerf attachments on, such as like a stampede shield or like a dart holder. I also put a Picatinny rail on top because you gotta have a scope with your bipod for all those sweet tactical actions where you're trying to aim through a scope, but since it's a blowgun, you're using both eyes and it doesn't actually line up properly, but it still looks dope, right? And that's half of what it is and so I also gave mine just a nice red paracord handle back here to make it really comfortable to use and it's really nice. I started getting really good with little guns and so it almost became basically my primary for a little bit and then I started working on brass breaches and I stopped using it. I still use it occasionally so that's why I still have it. We don't want to make a video on it because whilst we don't really use blowguns that much now that we have brass breaches like long shots and whatnot. It's still a fun thing to use, and it also is a good way to keep your skills up because it's definitely a marching kind of weapon. You gotta be very precise with that one shot. Yeah. I don't really have anything else to say for blowguns. Blowguns are very simple. They're just a straight piece of PVC. That's all you really need, and they're powerful, accurate, and good stuff to use. And even with just a piece of PVC, you don't have to use stickies. Um, mm -hmm. just, I used normal elites and FEJs for a while because other people were grabbing the stickies and it performed just as well as when they were using stickies. Mm -hmm. So, especially if you're getting, like, you're just starting to get into nerf and you're playing with people who have like modified blasters and know what they're doing, if you want something that can compete with modified blasters, blowguns are up there. You can get one, three to four feet right where the good stuff is and you can get, you can get over a hundred FPS. I hit it usually they're only like 110. Because I got those soft boy lungs. Yeah. And you can get a, one from like online or you can make it for like under five bucks. Just go down to like Home Depot or Lowe's or just a local hardware store. Go, go to Lowe's with a quarter and be like, I want PVC. And they're like, okay. Yeah. They'll even cut it down to length for you and everything. So you can just go in, get your length that you need. You don't need to paint it. I ran one that was just basic white PVC. You'll get made fun of, but. <laughs> It's yeah, fine. It's, it's fine. It, and then you can paint it for a couple more bucks and make it something that looks really dope and whatnot. Mine's just a red paint job with some e tape to give it that sort of striped look to it, which I like. But yeah, they're very simple blasters to make that can get you some really nice FPS and performance out of them.
Okay. So this is my blow gun without the attachments. This is usually how I run it. It's just a straight piece of PVC pipe. That's really all you need. This and my good secondary will last you for a very long war. As long as you just got a dart pouch full of darts. With darts inside. Hey. <laughs> I hit the fifth. <laughs> Take back my shot from earlier. I hit that dog. Um, <clears throat> pegboard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, this was just a basic video on blowguns. Um, we're going to have this this video and more videos coming out real soon. Uh, on our Instagram, I'll be posting our upload schedule so you guys can know what to look out for and when to look out for them. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon.